how about we start off the vlog here with a little bit of a first gen big stinky and that wide girl right there nasty red what is up everybody welcome back to another video here on loud and proud it is officially as of a couple hours ago been one full year to the exact moment that I uploaded my first vlog to Loud and Proud. And over 320 some episodes later, here we are. And we are actually, I'm gonna check my live subscriber count right now. We are at 57,998 subscribers. And probably within another 60 to 120 seconds we should be passing 58,000 subscribers on the exact day last year that I had started loud and proud now let me do the math here 58,000 subscribers divided by that means that we average just shy of 5,000 new team players family members and subscribers per month on this channel alone and I my outdoors channel which is separate from this but that channel grew approximately 10,000 subscribers this past year as well. So, you know, a lot of new people checking into the channel here and onto my social media platforms, and it's just been an incredible honor and privilege to be able to create content for you guys and get to do what I love for a living while entertaining you guys and having you guys go along the way the entire journey. So lots of big, big things. I made an Instagram post this morning and it's just a huge thank you to you guys for all the support, continued support. And it was just last year this time I picked up a camera thinking like, there was just a little piece of me that thought there was like, there was a little bit of hope that I was gonna be able to do what I loved for a living, do what I wanted to do for a career, which was just, you know, be in charge of my career and my, you know, my schedule and what I did and be, be able to do something that I'm passionate about. I thought it was possible, but I didn't know how possible it really was. And I had said on that post, I said, I didn't realize just how small my dream really was looking back and just how obtainable it really was with just putting in the time, the energy, and coming up with the ambition and the dedication to actually make it possible, I realized like those dreams should be so much bigger. You know, if your dream is a simple dream, by all means, live that simple dreams, live a simple lifestyle. There's nothing wrong with that. But for me and what I wanted to do, I didn't realize just how obtainable it was and how much further I can take things. All my dreams and my goals, they got raised to a whole nother level, a whole new bar. And I'm excited to tell you that 2018 is going to be a heck of a year and there's gonna be a lot of stuff happening. A lot of new trucks, a couple of giveaways, truck giveaways, a lot of new people, lots of new you know subscribers and a lot of new video content. And there's gonna be a lot of changes this year. A lot of big changes for what's coming up in terms of scenery and atmosphere and where things are gonna be taking place in terms of shop and stuff like that. So a lot of big stuff to look forward to. I'm gonna try not to reveal quite as much stuff ahead of time like I did in this past year. I did a lot of hyping up almost too soon for certain things and then it got people a little bit discouraged when it wasn't happening immediately. So I'm gonna try my best to keep you guys a little bit more on the edge of your seat in terms of uh, letting you guess and think what might be next without really telling you everything. So let's get into the video here for today and that is going to be trying to possibly do something on Nasty Red. We've got a couple of items here. One is for the dually. kind of show you guys what we have here so you guys have an idea it's already getting too hot for me we have new upper and lower control arms these are designed specifically for trucks with a two to three inch lift or level so I would imagine this is supposed to help with keeping a little bit less strain on those parts right there but I don't know if you guys can tell but with this leveling kit with the two and a half inch spacer up there it seems like the wheel was more centered but then once you lift it up, it kind of, if this motion makes sense, it kind of pivots the axle back a little bit um, with those short upper and lower control arms on there. Well, short, AK, just the stock ones, which are designed for the stock ride height. Um, so I don't know if that's supposed to center the wheel and tire back up and the spacing there to help with those deep turns um, and also just to take a little bit of strain off those parts or you know what the exact purpose is for those or if it's just solely to be 
a heavy duty replacement. All that I don't know for sure. So we're gonna try to figure this out here. Two and a half, three hours have gone by and I have gotten about almost zero progress on this project. It's frustrating because again, it's one of those projects that should not be difficult, you know, just like most of the other small stuff that I've done. It should not be a difficult thing, but it's been an absolute pain in the freaking rear. I can't get bolts out in two spots, okay? This one I got out with a little bit of force and persuasion. This one, I cannot get out. Yes, I've tried hitting them with a hammer and everything, and you can only do so much before you, you know, you, you should stop because if you hit the end of that too much, you're gonna mess it up to where you won't be able to thread. And right now, you know, if I go to thread something back on, it'll thread back on no problem. Um, but if you keep hitting the end of that too much with a hammer, you're eventually gonna screw it up. Well, some more of that broke off just there. Um, you hit that too much, and then it's just gonna, it's gonna mar up the end, and then it's not gonna, let anything thread on there. So um, that I just cannot get it out. I, you can't get an impact on the back of it. There's not enough room. Um, and then this impact that we have is just absolutely gutless and worthless. It doesn't do anything. Um, it just literally dies off and it doesn't do you any good. Um, and then the bolt up top right there, if you guys can see that one, that one is like concrete in there. It's not budging out. Same with that. I've hit it several times very hard for a long period of time trying to get that thing to wiggle. I can wiggle this up and down, but I cannot get that bolt to break loose. Neither can I that one. So basically I've got a bolt missing there now and a bolt missing there and I'm just stuck. I can't, I mean, they're just, they're stuck. So not fun at all. There's just certain projects that they should be easy. It shouldn't be any kind of an issue, but it's just sometimes worth. I know there's gonna be macho man out there in the comments who uh you know do it yourself do it yourself it, there's so much more pride in it. there's just certain things that it's just like th there's no pride in putting on different upper and lower control arms for me and uh just stressing over it and not being able to do it because i don't have the right tools and the manpower because it's just me here it's just like i'd rather just pay somebody and you know not mess with it and just you know spend my hours doing something more productive that's gonna benefit me more. This side I didn't even touch on. If I couldn't do one side, I couldn't even get the bolts out, I'm not gonna go and start messing up the other side. Might as well keep it all intact just in case worst comes to worst and I have to re-put the old ones back on, you know, on this side because I just can't get it to go any further. Total pain in the butt because, you know, three hours should not be the length that it takes to install something like that. But again, those have never been taken off before, so they're just they are in there good. It's frustrating when it's a project that should be so, so simple and stupid easy, and it's taken up too much of your time, and then it just becomes a nuisance. Something I do plan to do this year, like I said, there's gonna be a lot of changes this year, is hired help that I will pay part-time to be in the shop to help and to do jobs like this that I don't wanna do. Say whatever you want, but in reality, if you're a wise person, just like my dad's always said, and a lot of other people who are very, very successful people, they're like, do what you're good at, hire other people to do what you're not quite as good at, or where your time could be better spent somewhere else, pay somebody else to do certain things so you can focus your time and energy on something that's more productive and more beneficial to your career and what you're doing. I definitely wanna have hired help in the shop to do, so I can be like, uh, I'll pay you 200 bucks a day, get that job done, you know what I mean? Something like that. However, we did pass 58,000 subscribers, like I had said a little while back, it was only gonna be a couple minutes and we were gonna roll past 58,000. On the exact day last year that this channel was established, so I wanna say a huge, huge thank you to everybody out there. I was telling my dad the other day, cause a couple of my videos, the views have been like awful, awful, awful. You know what's funny, I said it's been one full year and my views are going 
back to about how they were this time last year, which is just an awesome, you know, anniversary. It's like great, you know what I mean? Nonetheless, I'm still happy doing what I'm doing, and I'm glad that most of you guys are still here and watching the videos every day. Lots of big stuff coming this year because I want to have a lot of things changed up to make every day so much more efficient and productive because when I'm spending hours doing something like this, it's not really helping me grow bigger in other areas that I would much rather be growing in. Just to add to the pile today, I had made a video about how my tires were taking forever and forever and ever to ship. Turns out they didn't even have them in stock, yet they let me buy them and order them, and they didn't even have them. And so then I had to reorder another set, and I had talked to that guy on the phone, and I said, now these are going to be here in a week. You said they're gonna be here in a week. He's like, yes, they will be there in a week. It's been more than a week and I just got an email today saying they just shipped or they're just preparing to ship or something crazy. I'm like, another week has gone by and they're just now preparing to ship. I'm like, I don't care how good the price is where I'm never, ever buying tires from this place again. Just, I mean like when it takes a month and a half to get a product or products you've paid almost a thousand dollars for, it's like, that is ridiculous. Crazy, never had that happen before. But anyways guys, that is going to put a wrap on this video because there's just, too much stuff to do, it's already late in the day. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Smash that thumbs up, leave your comments down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family. Thank you guys for one full year of support. Absolutely appreciate it. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.